Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Another update. I think I've figured out a way to make this a little bit better, uh, where it's actually a true single line font uh, called a stick font or whatever you want to call it. But now there's just one line. If you haven't been full of, uh, following along, uh, there were one of my mentors uh, realized that it was just a dual line. So if we go and go to object and break it apart and then go to object and convert it to curves and then actually i'm going to go to object and well let's go and just show that it's two lines there's two sets of lines there so then what we need to do is do the same thing let me just kind of back up here and get it back to where we were so go to object break it apart select them all go to object and convert them to curves and then take the shape tool and select them all and then right click and break the break it apart and then you're going to need to take the pick tool and select it all and go to object and well maybe we have to do one at a time go up to object and break the curve apart i don't know why you'd have to do it one at a time but this will be a lot easier trust me than deleting the nodes like I did yesterday. Uh, I'm trying to just help somebody. And if you haven't been following along, we're trying to just get a vector font. <clears throat> and then let's see how big this thing is. It's less than five. So we're going to set our nudge factor to five. And because we've got it all broken apart, and I just know from experience that this is a long line, I'm just going to nudge it down or nudge it down. And then this is just one line. See, it's leaving the other line. So I'm going to grab that, nudge it down, grab that, and nudge it down, grab that, nudge it down. So I'm taking away that other line because you're only picking one line at a time because it's on top of each other. Now I said I learned from experience because this is a short line. This is the long line. So now you can delete all this and you have a true single line font that will, uh, if you set it for a hairline, and normally I would set this for red hairline, just making, and what we're trying to do is mark some a bottom of a product on the back, say, of a cutting board real quickly with a vector. You know, this would take, if you made it a thicker font, you know, might take a couple of minutes to engrave, depending on how big it is, where it would only take two seconds to run this to like a, 100 speed at 50 power and just barely burn a line into it. Anyway, I think I've kind of got it figured out. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.